Hey y'all, it's your man D Real. Um, Black Panther is a very iconic and interesting character, and his visage has changed quite a bit over the years. How much? I'm about to show you. Let's be real with D Real. What up, y'all? It's your man, D-Real, and entertainment is what I do. Welcome to another Be Real with D-Real. If you ain't up on game, we doing this T'Challa thing. Now, what I wanted to do today was I just wanted to kind of share with y'all and give y'all, you know, some different looks of, of, of what T'Challa has looked. And, and I mean T'Challa, T'Challa the man, not the Black Panther the myth what he has looked like over the years. And, you know, you'd be shocked. I'm going to uh, share screen with you here for a second and go into this looks folder. And we're gonna start off with the first one, which is the most iconic look right there is T'Challa in his premiere in Fantastic Four number 52, where he unmasked and surrendered to the Fantastic Four because he was trying to show him he didn't mean him no harm. He was just trying to get his, his skill level up because he was getting ready to deal with Claw. And as you can see, back in the mid to late 60s, white artists didn't know what color to use to draw black people. And so they kind of had this kind of gray look to them. And, it seemed like that grayish kind of look made him look older, grayer. I mean, I mean, look at that. He looks, he looks like a really old guy. A lot, uh, he don't look like no young prince or no young king. That's for sure. He looked like like an elder or or a griot or something. <laughs> um, but moving on with that one, I mean, that was just that's kind of like what he looked like for years. Um, you got that look right there, good old cold tiger. And that's what he would have looked like. Um, looks a lot younger, looks a little more vibrant. I don't understand how they couldn't use that same coloring when they debuted T'Challa in Fantastic Four 52. Cause this is sure what they showed, what they had created as the original look, quote unquote, for the character. And, and he looks brown here versus gray. Still have sort of, even though it's a black man, he still kind of has Caucasian features, dare I say it? Yeah, that, that, that looks a little bit Caucasian, but let's move on. Here we are, circa 1970 or so, just before uh, Panther's Rage. He's He's starting to look a little more Afrocentric. And I like that picture there. He's, <laughs> he's sipping his tea. Um, look, let me say to y'all, comment, like, and subscribe to the Be Real with D-Real page. There is a little watermark in the bottom corner here. When you hit that, you will automatically be subscribed to the page and you will get alerts when new material is up. Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. Um, usually do a live on Saturday. I may not. I don't think I'm going to do a live this weekend because I got, you know, my other job is making demands on me. So, you know, we got to eat till we can eat off of this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Y'all want to see more of it? Help me get to 1,000 uh, uh, subscribers and 4,000 uh, monetization hours. And I'll show up every day y'all every single day okay where was we at mid 70s here we go that's the look that y'all had in say like around about 77 he looks a little bit more afrocentric um that's that that's jack kirby improving on his original design and that looks a little more black. The lips, you know, it looks a little blacker. They, 
they seem to start figuring out, okay, hey, we ain't just white people with, with, with curly hair and then just weird brownish, darkish, grayish type color to us. But I mean, that's a little better. And, and, and I expect no less of the King. You know, he's a, Jack Kirby's an artist extraordinaire. Um, and he, 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 he had to walk before a lot of other artists could run. Where are we at now? Um, okay. Oh, let's just skip on up to the 2000s. And here we go with, uh, as you can see from all of that, all of that rhetoric uh, in the 2000s, they thought, uh, they thought uh, T'Challa was the cat's pajamas. And he, look at that, man. He's, he's, he's two time Time Magazine person of the year and six time People Magazine, sexiest man alive. Go on, T'Challa. You, you, you the man, honey grand. But, you know, Aurora wouldn't like that. But as you can see, he looks a little more Denzelish in his appearance. You know what I mean? And, and, and they figured it out by the 2000s. They, were, they, weren't, they weren't being as offensive as they were in the 60s with their art. I mean, they didn't know no better. Didn't have no skills to know no better. So, but we're happy in the 2000s that they figured it out. Okay, this is an actual black man, so draw him as such. Now, on to a couple of um, animated looks. Here, we got uh, Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes, which came out uh, about two, 2010. Um, T'Challa's, he kind of has that 70s look, but they, 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 they put the part in the side of his head to kind of try to make him look a little more Afrocentric. And, and, and that's the look you got. That looks, that looks Afrocentric to me. T'Challa's got a nice look right there, doesn't he? I mean, that's kind of the prototype of what was to come. Now, while this is not animated, shouts out to my man. Look at Chadwick. This was the look in 2018. And Chadwick Boseman's appearance seems to influence other animated formats. Case in point. Here is T'Challa from Avengers Assemble and uh, Black Panther's Quest. Does that not resemble Chadwick Boseman a bit? Yes. Yes, it does. And so from that point forward, we're going to get the Chadwick look. Um, boom. Are y'all looking forward to seeing him in What If? What If, what if T'Challa became uh, a Ravager, Guardians of the Galaxy? I'm 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 excited to see that too. That that ought to be something. But yeah, again, Chadwick Boseman and Chadwick Boseman even voices this animated version. So we get another Chadwick Boseman performance. Yay! I'm excited about that. Really am. And here, I don't know why I put this in here. But somebody decided, you know, upper deck, upper deck cars were uh, popular in the 90s. And then they just kept on rolling on through through the 2000s. This looks like something that came out uh, just prior to the, uh, or right after, because it's got the Wakandan writing on it, uh, Black Panther. And boom, there you go. Not as chadwick -y looking as Chadwick, but that's a good look for him. And that's kind of the look that we... Uh, we were presented with back in the 60s when people couldn't draw as good as they can now. So that there is the looks of T'Challa. What'd y'all think about it? Did y'all think, you know, the looks of T'Challa was a good thing? Did y'all enjoy seeing that? Yeah, no, maybe. Let me know in the comments below. This has been Be Real with D-Real. I'm gonna hit y'all with another one before you know it. And until then, y'all be good. Be good to each other.